as a new day begins near Mechanicsville, Virginia. Gorgeous out here. Maddie Blake and metal detection expert Nicolina Bohr are continuing a search of the Pamunkey River with treasure hunter Matt Howell and his team for an estimated $65 million in buried valuables connected to the famed British Revolutionary War general, Charles Cornwallis. You guys had a great day yesterday. Yeah. So you're on a roll. Let's keep it going. Yeah, absolutely. There's our team. There we go. Yay. Today we're diving the same river, but a little bit further upstream. The volume of water and the depth is significantly different. Significantly more tree entanglements and things falling on the river up here where it's smaller. So there's a little more obstructions up here, a little less current. Let's get some gear on. Yeah, let's go. Matt and I spend a lot of time together checking on our gear, making sure everything's safe and right for us throughout the day. Fine. Here, Maddie. To be ready for these hunts and make sure that we're prepared to be able to go out and make these dives in these rough conditions so we have a solid plan before we just disappear into the darkness. All right. Great day, everybody. Let's go. Woo! Have a drink. Check, check. Maddie on surface looking for a calm check. Can you hear me, Tom? This is Brad. Brad, hear you loud and clear, my friend. Divers, how are the conditions down there? Is the viz better than yesterday? Anything? Any targets? Over. There's something better than yesterday. We do have a little more visibility. I believe Matt is working on a target right now. Ooh. Keep going. Dallas, where in your research, based on everything that you've learned, where would you pinpoint, like, X marks the spot the town was here? Where would it be? I think it's right here over our shoulder. Right over here? Yeah. Wow. And what do we know about the town, you know, just it what was, they were it doing? It was a, a tobacco port, and Cornwallis came through here, we think, at least twice. Well, we know he came through here once because he burned the warehouses and lots of houses in the town. The problem is we can find no concrete evidence where the pier was. If we could find a pier, we'd be onto something here. Yeah, absolutely. I see, I see something. Oh, well, we have a diver surface. Maybe he found something. Oh, he got something. What is it? Oh, man. Awesome. Oh, man. This looks promising. Oh, man. Wow, here. So see that iron that Maddie has in his mm -hmm. hand? I think that's a piece Ooh. of a dock. You think it's a dock? Definitely Something that's strapped wood together. Definitely. Yeah. Look at this brick. Look at that. Is there a way to tell if it's postmodern or not? Well, see, it has, can, yeah. it's handmade. Yeah. It's got a curve to it. Yep. It's been eroded a whole lot, so it's smooth, but they were not yeah, real smooth rough. like bricks are today. Yep. Right. So it's old. Wow. Yeah, that's a handmade brick. All right. And that puts you in the time period yeah. you want. Prior to the 1853 invention of the brick-making machine, which took place in England, brick manufacturing was done by hand during the colonial period in North America, using soft clay with water, which was then finished inside of fire kilns. Is it possible that this handmade brick offers evidence of the 18th century town where Matt Howell and his team believe General Cornwallis may have buried a large cache of looted valuables? People do not make handmade bricks anymore. And it's really cool because when you hold it up like this, you can see that it is a little thicker on one side. It begins to warp a little bit in a way that a machine-made brick wouldn't. Therefore, this brick places us back in Cornwallis's time. This could be from one of the structures of this oh, yeah, ghost definitely. town. Yeah. yeah, we need to see what volume of brick is in there. Right. Mm. Um, there's got to be more, though. Right. Mm. Dallas? Yeah. I legit found the best signs of a dock I've ever seen over there. I was finding timbers that were cut square, that were stuck down in the mud, mm. and big flat decking. Hmm. Where I first dropped down, yeah. on the left-hand side. I think that's got to be where it is. It has to be. I've never seen anything like that. Hmm. Finding this dock, finding these pieces, it's huge for us. It says that we're on the right track. 
It says that the people who wrote these things down long ago weren't lying. They're telling you the truth, and you just had to go look for that truth. Now we need to get under there, and we need to find some targets that show that people were here. Got it. That those British troops came through here. Mm. Got it. We got to get something that's personal now. Got it. And you're on a roll. Let's keep it going. Dad, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. underwater treasure hunting. There's just an energy in the air, an excitement in the air, because you're literally pulling history from the water. So the anticipation is high. My excitement level's really high. But it's a little scary, because it's black water diving, huge, strong currents. They can't see their hand in front of their face. Confirm, confirm. Did you say you saw bricks over? It's affirmative. Oh. We're lying in a big pile of bricks. Yes. It's good, Dallas. It is. Big pile of bricks confirmed. Over. Great job. Oh, that's that's what you wanted. This is the moment you want as a treasure hunter, right? You want to find that validating piece. Even if it's not the treasure, you are finding the piece of the puzzle that says, I'm in the right place, continue the search. Top side, I'm working on acquiring a target right now. Ooh. Ooh. This is great. We've got some good targets. You just gave Top side the chills. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Matt. Great to hear it. Keep going. Over. You can hear the excitement in his voice. Mm. That's what it is. I hear that. We got on the bottom today, and the current was absolutely kicking our butts. It's dark, it's cold, it's wet, but you get that beep on the machine, it's exhilarating. I'm uh, successfully recover the target in the pouch. Yes. Confirmed targets acquired. Great job, fellas. Over. There he is. We have a diver on the surface. All right, he's good. Yay. We got a happy diver. Coming out of the water, all you want to do is just rip your bag open and share it with the world and share it with the guys who are in that same journey with you. cargo. Hand me the goods. All right. No peeking. All no right. peeking. Oh, it's heavy. Oh. That's what we were looking for. Yes. Yeah. Wow.